my dear Aquarius. This is a love reading for you where the person most on your mind will have their truth, thoughts and feelings revealed by me, Queen of Cups Tarot. We will also look into what they would tell you if they had the guts or respect to tell you the truth with using my deck, the Brutally Honest Oracle deck. Uh, I also want to wish you all Aquarius happy birthday. It's your birthday month. So um, celebrate your birthday in the best way possible. And um, this will be a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising Sign and Venus, Vedic or Tropical. And for Aquarius, this will be a reading about what the person most on your mind are feeling for you and where their thoughts are at when it comes to you. It can often be a conflict between head and heart and this will be revealed here together with the most likely action they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. I will also reveal what they would tell you if they dare to tell the truth to your face. For a cross watcher, this reading will most likely be about where the Aquarius person's thoughts and feelings are at. The reading can go both ways. The drama is the same, but it can be different castings to the different roles by the universe. Uh, and I usually read for the empath side of the story. Also remember that the other person holds your shadow that you mirror out to the world so you can be able to see it. And in the end, you need to use your own intuition and recognition to determine who is who in this general reading for you. And I use the Anima Mundi uh, Tarot. And uh, I will use my own deck of brutally honest oracle cards to reveal what they would want to say to you uh, from the truth of their heart and the bottom of their soul. Uh, so my dear, I will just tune in to your reading a few seconds. No, I will start shuffling your cards. Sorry. <laughs> okay, so when I open your deck here, uh, I see the Seven of Pentacles together with the Hangman. So there's definitely a block here. This person is very blocked. Uh, they are blocked from maybe moving forward uh, towards you, but they're also um, blocked um, from the universe to move forward uh, overall, it seems. Okay. So I call the divine with love and light. And here we have the temperance card uh, together with the seven of pentacles here. So the temperance card is the second card for love in the major arcana. It's about being attracted to your opposite. It's yin and yang being magnetically drawn together um, because um, uh, one person mirrors the other person's shadow and vice versa. Uh, so uh, if we are only darkness, we are drawn towards the light. If we are only light, we are drawn towards the darkness. Uh, so this is very uh, like an attraction here. So I want to see what they would tell you about this attraction and the block. Our love is deep as the ocean. So they definitely feel this magnetical pull towards you. And I was lost. I think we can... Uh, we can um, translate this to that they are lost and uh, they are like this elephant here in the forest but they can't see what where they are supposed to go because they can't see the horizon so um, they're trying to get around these all these trees and see what is it that I'm supposed to do we can see that both these cards are blue um, the feeling I'm getting from this color is a, a very uh, sensitive uh, emotion towards you it's like they have this um, uh, feeling of tenderness uh, insecurity hope uh, but also loss of hope and um, uh, not really believing in, in what could be and uh, feeling uh, feeling emotional and 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 vulnerable so they can also be tears here uh, actually from from this person okay uh, but there's a block so there's maybe no manifestation here of this relationship so I called the four archangels in the four corners of the world and here we have the ten of cups together with the seven of uh, pentacles so it just shows what I just told you that they think your love is deep as the ocean 
and um, 10 it's not an easy <laughs> cup to get rid of if it's 10 of cups it's usually a very long lasting uh, love uh, feeling of love for a person usually we love that person for the rest of our lives even if we meet other people that would be that special someone maybe that got away so uh, six elements Earth, twin, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today and to give us a clear view reading for my dear Aquarius viewers. So um, I'm just going to tune in here for a few seconds to you and uh, um, this person, uh, the person most on your mind and what are their true thoughts and feelings and what is the likely action that they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. So this is the most likely action that they will take towards you and your relationship. This is um, their feelings towards you and this is uh, what they are thinking about you and your relationship. And we have a page of wands. So page of wands goes very well with the temperance card. Temperance card is Sagittarius. This is uh, also a fire energy. Uh, so it's a person having a lot of uh, passion uh, towards you and uh, so their soul is uh, kind of burning for you um, um, many people like this I have learned they are not following this divine uh, passion they try to fight against it so it might be what have happened here as well so here it comes to their feelings for you and they feel trapped with this relationship because they feel like the divine isn't letting them unhook uh, from you and, and your connection so um, they feel like they are running into a back alley and there's really no way out and it's the truth as well I'm thinking the divine is forcing them to uh, change your point of view or um, sacrifice their own ego or um, giving up their guns uh, basically okay and uh, this is um, their most likely action. And we have the uh, seven of swords. So they will continue um, <laughs> lying and uh, trying to win this game against both you and the divine is what I'm seeing. Doesn't seem very comfortable though. Okay. Uh, so their thoughts about you and the, your relationship. So we have the knight of cups here. So that they identify with their mind that they are very passionate with you and that they have um, this um, magnetical attraction towards you. They are attracted towards you. They have very uh, sweet, tender emotions uh, towards you with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a little bit uneducated when it comes to love. So uh, it's more an investigation. What do I feel? Why do I feel this way? Oh, look at how I tremble when I tremble when I look into this person's eyes and so on. So it's not a person being, um, they are more experiencing love than um, like knowing what love is or um, being loving towards other people. It's more um, a curiosity and uh, it can be sometimes also a little bit childish that I need you and I need you now. Uh, and it's not um, very grown up, so we're not thinking about other people's needs maybe so much. Um, and here we have a two of pentacles. Uh, it shows that uh, they are having two sides inside of them that uh, they are juggling with. So uh, I think one of these sides, uh, they want to start anew without you is uh, what I'm feeling because um, they feel trapped by this relationship and uh, love, loving emotions that they haven't chosen themselves or logically decided that they should be there. And then we have this other uh, where they, if they would give in, if they would give up, um, give up their guns, they would probably want a, a, a deep and profound love relationship with you and, and, and really investigate uh, this relationship to to its fullest depths uh, so they are torn between these two they want to decide for themselves they don't want to be forced into something by you or by the divine or your allure and um, here we have the ten of uh, ten of swords 
uh, I, I get the feeling here that they uh, they are scared about the emotions uh, and the waves that's being brought up uh, by this uh, relationship that there's a lot of um, um, things being brought up that they can't handle they don't recognize themselves they don't recognize uh, why am I acting like this I'm acting like a lunatic why do I feel like this it's not me it's some spell taking me over and um, I'm feeling that they're making you into a little bit of an enemy because they think you have hurt them like this um, uh, that it's you that makes them feel this um, dramatic emotions inside of them uh, so they might blame you for a lot of the things that they feel uh, distrust or um, that they feel pain when you are not around things like this and then we have the tower so this is the divine kind of taking over the show again and the sun uh, <laughs> the sun here is 19 1 plus 9 is 10 10 of swords um, so they can't uh, continue fighting this is the little fight that's left in them and it's not much and uh, soon they will come to uh, some sort of epiphany given to them by by God and the divine uh, so it's like a flash of insight that they can't close their eyes to it's just it's so obvious comes like um, the tower here so a volcanic uh, eruption um, if um, things are happening with this rapid speed uh, it's it's they can't uh, um, talk themselves out of no this is not this is not the thing <laughs> I'm thinking they are really suffering here within their mind uh, because their mind wants to have control over this being here and uh, but the control both from the inside and from the outside is being taken over by this divine power their own passion for you and the divine will and destiny so here is what's happening to their little will and we have free will and and they have used it to to try to fight um, their own um, kind of the reason maybe to why they came to earth and this is how they end up with this uh, trying to use their free will against their own emotions okay um so it's a little bit of a I'm feeling like there's a turmoil in their mind and their thoughts. Uh, they are not thinking particularly much about you. They are very focused on their own inner life and what's going on inside their own body and why they can't control it. But I'm also feeling like a little bit of hope. Maybe they want to be like dragged <laughs> back and put into the volcano here. Um, it's a small hope that maybe love is for real. Um, this is what I'm feeling. Okay, so this is their uh, their feelings, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is a suspicious mind. It's another knight, but it's not a knight that's throwing themselves just because they feel this. Ah, oh, I feel so much in love with this person, or God damn it, what beautiful! How beautiful this person becomes. The more and more I spend time with them, they become more and more beautiful. Uh, I'm not going to do anything about that. Um, Nine of Pentacles. This is someone being scared. And they know what they have. Uh, they can take care of themselves. But as soon as they mix themselves up with other people. Uh, they get very uh, unsecure. Because they can control themselves. And what they are doing. And uh, get hopefully good outcomes out of that. But when they are together with other people. Everything like that gets all twisted and other people's uh, uh, feelings and actions um, make them challenges them in ways that uh, make they don't want to go into that they want to be the lone wolf and stay as an observer but not lose themselves uh, uh, with their feelings into this situation so they can at any point get out of the relationship they have no hooks uh, they have no feelings for you, so they can withdraw at any point if things aren't to their liking. So they like to be in control like that, but it doesn't seem to go too well for them. No, three of swords. They are just breaking their own heart, uh, and they are breaking probably your heart in, in the process as well. Um, so this is um, their thoughts and their 
their feelings. They are struck to the ground and all their own plans and their own need of control and, and taking care of themselves, protecting themselves, saving themselves was to nothing because uh, they ended up hurting themselves with putting up all these protections because that created a distance between them and the person that they love, which is you. And here we have the seven of wands. So still trying to put up this uh, fight, but uh, we'll see. Sometimes this person, a person that holds this energy is fighting for what's good and just. And sometimes they are fighting against everything, like all the insights that come inside of them that, um, well, you, you love her, you want to marry him, um, you want to, uh, them to forgive you, you want, to, you want them to come and say that they're sorry. It's, um, it's all these things comes up and the person is just holding it down. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. But um, maybe this have been the truth in the past. Uh, we'll see what will come here in the future. Nine of Cups together with Page of Swords. Well, they're still in that energy a little bit, but they're at least starting to admit their own feelings. And it's a slow process of transformation because they have seen uh, probably their own emotions as their worst enemy. That's their weak point, their Achilles heel, where they could be really hurt. So they have tried to fight off their own feelings to stay, um, to stay like unique so you can not you're not uh, pushed and pulled by other people's wants and needs you don't become um, codependent to other people you don't have to care what they think about you or if they like you or not or love you or not or if they are uh, faithful or not because you don't care <laughs> but here um, it's a person that does care but um, they don't want to um, but they are slowly starting to heal things inside of them and at least taking care of their own emotions and, and not um, just stabbing their own emotions to death like this. So uh, it's a process of letting these emotions in and realizing that these emotions aren't my enemy. They are telling me if, I'm, if I have a broken foot, they will tell me I have a broken foot so I don't run on it and it will become um, unrepairably damaged. And um, this emotion can also tell me uh, when, about my intuition, uh, what is going to happen or uh, what is the best choice. So I can't fight uh, off my feelings all the time. Uh, so they're still very, very scared of you. Uh, but at least they are trying to, they are becoming less and less scared uh, of their own emotions. So this is a long process. This is not something that will be fixed um, um, over the day. Uh, I played you and I was never good enough for you. This is the kind of energy that they want to give out that they played you because they never felt uh, good enough for you. So they wanted to stay on top of the game by being the one playing with your emotions. So you would never be able uh, to play with their emotions. But in the end, they kind of play themselves. And the reason for this is that they never felt good enough for you. And they still don't, but they're working on a little bit of self-love here. It's um, a crisscross between uh, self-love and acknowledging one's own feelings. This is the connection to the hermit and the hermit feeling the inside of their own uh, emotions or emotional ocean. And this is a rebel. This is a person that um, their own uniqueness was a little bit suffocated growing up. They weren't allowed to express themselves. And they learned that it was dangerous to be with other people because if you are with other people, they are going to suffocate you and um, uh, overimpose their own feelings and thoughts and uh, future expectations and dreams on, on you. And you will have to just follow along like a... Uh, mindless um, like just a dog or someone that's a slave because uh, you don't have any power of your own but here this person is working on self-empowerment and learning to love themselves so eventually maybe they will feel like they are good enough even if they don't fulfill uh, all your boxes of expectations so they will feel good enough in their own right that just by being here and being alive and 
breathing in and out. They have the right to be themselves and God loves them for who they are. Uh, and this is what the kind of position they need to come to, to be more also more strong, to be able to, um, to show their true self in the world. So even if that true self isn't someone that you like, at least it's the truth. And, um, and also be able to talk about their own feelings, thoughts, dreams, instead of just being overwhelmed with other people's feelings, thoughts, and dreams. Uh, okay, so this is the most likely action that they will take when it comes to you and your relationship. And we have the Ace of Wands, which comes from the Page of Wands. Uh, so they're still kind of burning hot for you and um, they acknowledge this knights uh, it's to the two feminine knights here um, the er water and earth energy and the fiery energy of masculinity here uh, so they're acknowledging the feminine inside and um, kind of joining that with a, a masculine passion for you uh, but aces is just a thing happening inside a person or a chance being given it if it's not act upon nothing will come out of that but you can understand a little bit more where they are that they have acknowledged their own feminine side and the longing and the, um, the emotions that they have for you and and they they feel like this is a dream it's like a passion you want to do something about that you want manifestation of that but we, we know that this person is resisting any type of manifestation because they feel you have put this spell on them or the vine has put this spell on them. So they will be a slave to you if they give in. And here we have a tree of pentacles. So that's working together, uh, like cooperation, uh, soul group working together to make uh, like the web of life <laughs> more and more beautiful for each day. And so we have a three of pentacles, three of swords, two of pentacles here. So they're more and more giving in to the idea that you are part of a soul group that's uh, destined to do some work together. Uh, and here we have the knight of swords. I want to see what they want to <laughs> say with the knight of swords here. I don't feel worthy of love. I have a lot of insecurities. Okay, so... Uh, because they have these insecurities, they will come out as someone that wants to destroy this uh, uh, bee's hive here and, you know, steal the queen and, like, make her, in, like, squish her. Um, that's what's going to come out of their mouth. But this is the reason to why this come out of their mouth. I don't feel worthy of love. I have a lot of insecurities. So if... Um, if I feel you have a strong power over me, I want to, uh, I want to squish you. Okay, that's the best interpretation I can make uh, of that. And then we have the six of cups, which is reconciliation, and five of wands. <laughs> so, um, uh, in the same time as they want to squish you and all this, you know, if they, if they, kind of disrespect you on the outside. They hope to lose the respect for you and this kind of this spiritual inspiration that they have for you and your relationship inside. They hope to be able to squish that. But uh, they just end up with longing for reconciliation and they want reconciliation. But if they come to you with this uh, communication, reconciliation, they will come to you as a, a warrior uh, a person that wants to win over you still and they will come with this master plan and this this game uh, because they feel like you are such a dangerous person sorry for the squishing i'm hearing a song here it's um, glorious uh, so this person thinks that you are some kind of goddess and that you will lure them in and maybe you know use them for some blood sacrifice later <laughs> so they're trying to fight that off uh, so they want a reconciliation with you, but they don't want you to have any power. Uh, they want to render you powerless uh, because they don't feel that they have any power whatsoever. And um, well, I will see what the Romans angels have to say about this. Uh, finance and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Financial factors, um, money is um, 
like it's a label on your own self-value what you think about yourself if you have very little money you probably don't uh, value certain point, parts of you that much and um, it might be that this person also struggles with finances and career because of all their insecurities and um, they want to show off something to you so that you can admire them for what they have accomplished um, see if we can get something more so they might try to make you jealous or impress you in some way um letting go of control issues calling in your soulmate um this person have a lot of um control issues we can see it here but in the same time uh, their soul sorry this a little seed here a bjork seed okay Bir birch seed um their soul is calling calling you in uh, but in the same time they are very stuck in their um in, in their self-worth, which has to do with what, what they have accomplished in the world, which might not be that much. Uh, so they want to take control and um, win this game of life. Uh, but the divine is saying that's not going to, to happen. This person needs to love themselves. Either they are able to perform in the way that the world will uh, as so that the world will see them as successful or not they need to love the core of them and here they're still trying to like impress someone uh, so that's probably your other song that don't impress me much um, I'm writing it down so I'll put it in the description box for you uh, those are a little bit like mini readings and I think um, the person in this song is kind of the person singing glorious and how the person sees you is this uh, that don't impress me much <laughs> that you are not so easily impressed by stuff uh, that they do and they constantly try to impress you but they're probably trying with the wrong things they're trying with this with winning over you and you would get more impressed if they were able to you know follow their divine path and express their emotions or their weaknesses or how they feel deep inside they're talking about to you about their trauma things like that that would impress them but they don't realize that they think they need to come all tough here and impress you to win you back uh, so I'll also take from lovers oracle to see what they would want to say to you Healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. So if you can forgive this person, uh, then this is probably for you. And then there's a hope for this relationship. Um, if you can forgive what have happened and you can send some love to this uh, person and this relationship, you are opening a door for them to also uh, be able to learn to to love themselves and the unique person that they were when they came before they got conditioned that they needed to be successful in this world to to matter uh, and that could help a lot with this calling in your soulmate so if you could send them a lot of um, uh, love uh, that would be helpful for this relationship and uh, this is uh, from guardian angel cards so to see what uh, the advice is for you from the divine at this point uh, relax there is plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire place your hands gently on your heart and allow allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within imagine yourself bathed in golden light flowing from the eternal heart of god i your guardian angel am with you allow me into your heart you will accomplish more by focusing on that which is most important in life love so it goes very well with this. So it's about surrounding yourself and the, um, uh, Im the imagine, no, the picture in your head of the loved one. Surround both yourself and this uh, vision uh, with light uh, and love and, and forgiveness because this is the time of healing. And uh, if you send this kind of energy, this might be what pushes this person over to the edge. So they will actually uh, love, uh, learn this about self-love and find that they actually love themselves um, uh, uh, as they are 
It's just that they wanted to be loved by others, so they try to uh, fill up, like, meet their expectations. And they need to let go of this and, and just be themselves, is what I'm seeing. Okay, <laughs> so my dear Aquarius, I hope this helped uh, to guide you a little bit into what the person most on your mind are uh, thinking and feeling about you and um, uh, what their most likely action would be. It seems like they want to heal this relationship, but uh, they're going to try it with um, maybe not the right kind of um, actions or the actions that you would want to see. Uh, they will still try to impress you and you want them to come uh, with their heart on their sleeve being like really open so you have a chance for a real intimate uh, relationship and a real exchange of uh, love between souls. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And I'm now doing personal and spiritual growth readings uh, for the members to my channel. For those of you that's interesting in your personal and spiritual growth rather than love. And I'll also do personal readings for the full members to my channel. So su subscribe and then check this out to the join button. Or follow the link in the description box to learn more about this membership. So until next time, take really good care and bye bye.